here's where we are. <laughs> a little lower than before. We're gonna fix that. We have Sheik, I'll try my best. What a grab there. Alright, first talk's good. It's, it's just chill. They got it there. <laughs> we almost gave it to him. Had they done a ledge dash or something, I was probably screwed right there. I did pretty good. My punish was nice. I kind of had no BS mentality. <laughs> that stopped me at the end, def definitely. And then things to improve, I feel like... I feel like I still don't have a plan versus Sheik. Even when I beat her, I just kind of do stuff. And if they fall into my... If they fall into my grab, then I kind of win. But I still don't know how to, like, bait her well enough. Falcon Sheik sucks for both. Sheiks hate it, and Falcons hate it. It's just a matchup that exists. And there's nothing we can do about that. We will run into it in tournament. So I try to just enjoy any matchup. Everyone plays an honest character to them. That's why they choose the character. Favorite legume? Probably go with beans, it's a classic. Beans are just good and, and stuff. Favorite interaction was I did a little creative stomp knee, like edge cancel thingy. It missed, but I think it was good. And that's a kind of cool trick. I feel like that's a good DI mix up if I was to hit it someday. And then my uh, something that impressed me about my opponent was their recoveries because it was a little bit tricky. Especially the, they did one very good one on the right side of a battlefield where I missed my knee from ledge. All right, GG's. Next one. Well, it's a little terrifying wits. I still am arachnophobic. I dropped my controller to start the set. I see how they operate. Okay, my corner pressure just gets a kill. Oh, bean lover 37. <laughs> Donating for the double legume stream. <laughs> okay, wow. Whew. They are they are pushing me to a limit. Should have donated half half that twice for the double. That's true. That's true. Maybe they're not done. Maybe it was supposed to be fifty. Either way, I really appreciate that. It's super nice. Um, tried punching him harder. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll try that. Falco does die if you punch him. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Doubling up or an inspire -er. Doubling up. <laughs> they literally did it. Be lover, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I need to put a little donation, like top donation thing for being lover. Yeah, but Izzy and I were at a, at a new restaurant last night, and she got a, a bunch of veggies in her dish, and she was like, wow. She's the one that said double legume, and I, I had to. That just kills? That was freaking crazy. This is the most classic Falco on rank I've ever seen. Good stock right there. All right, GG's. Good things I did. Punish, fantastic punish. Good reads. They were rolling in a bunch. Mental on the Leizu game. They were really just, I feel like the only reason they would do that is to try to annoy me, a game one. 
Things to improve. I don't really know how to beat that. All I did was wait. All, when the Falco was lasering and full hop nearing. I don't know how to beat it, but I waited and then when they did anything else, I was winning. So they would do the full hop near and then they would lose after they did that. And also I do have a better laser game than I represented. I did a couple of them, like the upper outer shield after like power shields and stuff. And I'm trying to get really good at those. And you could take laser and up air immediately and I'm getting kind of good at that. Have you tried full hop nearing at him? <laughs> Maybe I should. Favorite moment of that set was the last stock I just did. That was fantastic. I knew exactly where they were going. I read the full hop and then I read the roll in. That was awesome. And then something impressive about my opponents. They pressured me a lot. If not in game, then mentally. I was scared of that Falco. So they did really good at that. Double legume keeps going. I didn't waste that stomp. <laughs> Sometimes I hit stomps and I waste them. I'm getting kills. They didn't roll after that. I really thought they would. That was a hella cool run through. Can I actually have to guard Sheik? One more? Okay, that's good. Thought I had good DI there. They reacted well. Okay, we got it. Yes! The Sheik Killer! Yes! GG's. Coolest Falcon still? Yeah, but I, I couldn't do any of it against you. I stopped need you like six times. Lame ones, full hop ones with no drift. No movement in between. <laughs> That's how Sheik is, dude. I don't know what it is with Sheik, but y'all do nothing after I down throw off ledge. That kills, that kills every Sheik. I've hit that on every Sheik I've played against except Jaymook. That's, that's the only thing Falcon has that would make a, a Falcon that's worse than the Sheik player actually win a set. I only spam that because I, I want down throw, nipple spike, and then just straight knee with no jump in between. I've been trying to get that on Sheik forever. Alright, things I did good is punish. I think I didn't mess around and I freaking killed Sheik when I could. When I could. That's a keyword. Edge guards were fantastic. I didn't overcomplicate it. I was doing the whizzy back air and then just jump back. Things to improve on. Like I said against the first Sheik I played. I do not have a plan. There's no plan versus Sheik. Another thing oh, another thing I did well, I think my defense was alright. Honorgon actually wasn't tech chasing me to death every stock, so that's good. I think I need to improve um move choice. I think Sheik and Yoshi specifically, they deserve to be hit with big, thick attacks. You need back air and stomp, like, exclusively. Back air, stomp, knee. Like, if you hit them, it has to count. My favorite interaction of the set, end of game one on the left of Battlefield. It was just hilarious, because I think either Onrogon was styling or, or they missed the fair. And then I accidentally did a crazy wall jump, which could have helped me if I expected to do it. But I didn't. It was just, it was just wild. That was fun. Something that impressed me about Honorgon was just neutral. Really knowing how to shut down Falcon, especially a Falcon that can move the way I do. So props, props for that. Thought it was on purpose. <laughs> that's, that's the benefit of being me is if I do something and I'm like, oh shit, what was that? Everyone's like, he's on some new, he's on some new stuff. <laughs> like every time I do a Doraki on Dreamland, it's an accident. But I, I just like don't react and I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> I, just, I just got him like that. <laughs> okay, they're that style. That style punish. Oops. 
Do I live? Oh man. Mm-hmm. Go shine spike me. Do it. Oh my god, I was watching Wizzy play Cody at um What's the tournament that just happened? He was only doing knee jab the whole set. It was really funny. Oh the roll! Yes! <laughs> the full hop drills are crazy. Okay, wow. Yeah, lots of full hop. I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it. Piece of drop. Ah. Oh. Oh, legume F smash! <laughs> that was so ugly, dude. <laughs> you see me right there? I just tried to do something other than knee after a stomp. Who do I think I am? Imagine? Oh, can you imagine? That was so clutch by them. <sighs> nice. Hell yeah! <laughs> Get up, attack! <laughs> I charged it up. <laughs> that 11% is going to be why I win this game. I got a double dare. What is going on? How do they keep dying? How are they dying? This is the plight of Manning Falco, I think. Things I did well. Completely invalidating the character of Fox when played by that opponent. I, I was really good against their Fox, when normally that's who I struggle against. I think I'm actually going to compliment my ability to just take those, because normally I'm bad at it. <laughs> and I'm trying to win, and this time, today, right now, I'll actually not homie, and I'll not be stupid. But what do I improve on against that Falco? I think openings were hard to come by, and so I wasn't ready for them when they happened. Defense? I don't know. I think at the end I was nervous and so I, I rolled in and stuff. Did bad things. So a little bit more composure, I guess, when people like switch characters or something. Favorite moments? I think the funniest moment was them doing a nice combo and, and like reversaled me and then went too far and missed their downer and I just back him off stage. It's like, well, that's just the switcheroo that melee can do on everyone. Something impressive about that player was pressure with Falco and... Honestly, the ability to play two characters that well, I'm always I'm always jealous of it. Oh, the charged getup attack was definitely the best thing I did, yeah. <laughs> I'm really bad in this map. I'm so- I'm terrible against Luigi. Let's see how this goes. Battlefield. Triple smash attack from a Mario brother in Melee. Okay, good, I didn't double jump. Patiently wait your turn against Luigi sometimes. That's what I need to remember is don't be afraid to hold the shield. Yeah, baiting in the wave dash is like the best thing. I remember when I beat a no chill, Luigi and NorCal. I was just like, at a certain point during the set, I was just like baiting them and just baiting him and just forward smashing. And he like ran into it a couple times. I feel like stage is not gonna matter. Like Luigi does the same shit no matter what. Nice 
this way. Threed? What am what am I on? Wait! <laughs> that was the most intentional Falcon Punch I've done in my life. I have to win the set, I know. I know. I'm gonna die. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? That was hella good. Finally grabbed! Bun! Thanks for the prime. This one's for Bun. <laughs> oh, this set's a banger. No, please! I'm good on that edge guard, actually. Like, no thanks. I'm I'm fine. Appreciate it though. Okay. Okay, let's go. Thanks for the stomp, no problem. Anytime, anytime. Double Leg Yume is happy to stomp for anyone in chat. Anybody. I don't practice against Luigi because that shit sucks to play. <laughs> what do you, what do you expect? <laughs> Actually, the only time I'll play Luigi is, is on game night if I, if I happen to play Mexican SpongeBob, yeah. That's the only time. That was the most fun I've had playing a Luigi in a long time, though, that's for sure. Things I did well. Having a great freaking time in a matchup that's one of my least favorites. I enjoyed that. Um, I was I was reading a fair amount of options, I would say. And Punish was nice. I wasn't, like, scared. I was just kind of doing, going for it. Which I like. I, that's how I want to play. Things to improve. I just die versus Luigi. Recoveries are so irritating. He just backers and you can't do anything. So uh, I was okay with it though, which is, which is the good part. But if I could keep those situations to a minimum, that would be nice. Favorite moment of the set, I want to say it was my full hop Nair teeter cancel, full hop beer versus falcon punch to read Luigi going to the top platform. It was a shield drop? Oh my, oh my Jesus. We're literally in end lag. Like, there's nothing Luigi can do there. Something impressive about my opponent was, I don't know, they know their character. They really know their character. And they were ready for like misfire edge cancels and they were doing down B stuff, all the, all the shenanigans I'm not ready for. Chat, if we get 100 subs, I will be doing a sub only tournament with a handful, maybe two or three special rules added to the rule set, maybe some stage list changes and I'll be streaming it right here and we'll have a great time. Falcon Ditto. Nothing matters, I'm gonna ban these two arbitrarily. They just so happen to be the biggest stages. <laughs> they just happen to be. Wow, are you kidding me? Good read. Wow, they're kinda nuts. Oh my god. Pfft. I'm dead, huh? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead to a invincible down smash. That was how fast.
Don't. I want to quit out so bad. I hate down smash. Ever since that session with none, I'm traumatized. Down smash freaking sucks. Hmm. And the fact that I know it's a Luigi enjoyer and they just did down smash on me. That's, that's, that's hard. Things I did well. You kept the punish even. Thank you, Bagel. We'll take it. Things to improve. Having a plan in the ditto. Knowing what's going on. Trying to do something in neutral to get a reaction out of my opponent on purpose. All these things might help me in the, in the ditto. Favorite interaction that's it? Oh, there's a crazy moment on the right of Yoshi's where like I text something and then he wall jump up, up air or something. It was wild. Something that impressed me about my opponent is that I don't understand your Falcon. And I spend a lot of time with Captain Falcon. That was unique. Actually, in a good way. Like, if I wasn't playing against it, that would be fantastic to watch. It was just hard to beat. And hard to get my head around. <laughs> they knew- they knew Randall's gonna be there. Oh, Falco just dies, huh? There's new age tech chasing for you. Taking my kills at, at good spots. Please be stupid. What I do well. I mean, I'm not getting discouraged today, even though I don't like losing, obviously, but mentality's okay. I wasn't slowing down, really. I think I kept a pace that was decent, but the rhythm of my moves, it was only good, good enough to get that close. You know what I mean? Falco's about rhythm. Falco and Sheik, everyone's about rhythm. Things to improve, things like that at the very ends. Having a knockdown and that being the reason I lose the game, that should never happen. That should never happen, even if I'm at a high percent. Even if I can't crouch cancel it. Favorite interaction of the set? Maybe when they did 400 backers on Dreamland to keep center stage. I'm kidding. Sarcasm doesn't work for, for this analysis. Oh, my actual favorite was they were popping off on Yoshi's and did the F smashes on Randall and I was, I was freaking out. I did not know what to do at all. That was really cool. Something impressive about him? They have they have approaches I, I I can't autopilot to deal with and I don't really have answers for so their, their Falco's a little tricky. Let's do a first Marth set. Cool. Okay. That'll be a kill then. That Raptor Beast is really good sometimes. What? That worked? That time I did well with keeping the pressure on. I was pretty safe. And, and I was recognizing too that I'm faster, I was the better player, so I was able to just kind of go off. A little irresponsible. Maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I should have toned it down a little because like they probably could have came back there. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that was a nipple spike. I think I'm on the wrong ISO. Dang it. My content. I have the precious sound file. I just forgot to use it. That Nair right there, I've been watching Top Falcons do that. They full hop and like drift a Nair on the platform. 
It's better than any Nair I've ever thought of. I'm losing this game. I'm kidding. Let's practice composure. This is when you stay in center. Make sure you, yeah, make sure you like let them come to you. <laughs> Good practice. Okay, GG's Dino. That was a really good low stomp, actually. I have a jump, I might as well use it. Wow! <laughs> the jump bridge was everything right there. That was amazing composure for me. Old me would have um I almost let him live there. Old me would have like gone off stage for that first touch guard and just completely blew it. But I jumped off, reacted to side beam, just like went back. That's like that's just good player stuff. Now we have the uh, the legendary refresh, let's see. Okay. Back to plat three. That's basically where I normally hang out. Pretty good though. GG's ranked people. See you next time. Now we go to unranked. <laughs> the reversal? <laughs> All the way down. Hit the forward smash. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Wait, I need to play more DK. <laughs> Wait. That's the best way to end it. There you go.